Hello everyone. This video presents a notable event that happened on each day from the past week in history. On December 31st, 192, Roman Emperor Commodus was assassinated, one of many Roman emperors that met an untimely end. Today we take a look at just a select few of those people that died in 2022. Who else would you include on this list? Shinzo Abe, Japanese Prime Minister. Madeleine Albright, diplomat. Kirstie Alley, actress. Louis Anderson, comedian. Peter Bogdanovich, writer and director. James Kahn, actor. Irene Cara, singer. Coolio, rapper. Tony Dow, actor. Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom. Mikhail Gorbachev, Soviet president. Gilbert Gottfried, comedian. Franco Harris, football player. Orrin Hatch, Senator. Anne Hesch, Actress. Howard Hessman, Actor. Dwayne Hickman, Actor. William Hurt, Actor. Naomi Judd, Singer. Sally Kellerman, Actress. Bob Lanier, Basketball Player. Angela Lansbury, Actress. Ray Liotta, Actor. Meatloaf, Singer. Loretta Lynn, Singer. Yvette Mimieu, actress, Olivia Newton-John, singer and actress, P.J. O'Rourke, political satirist, Pele, soccer immortal, Gaylord Perry, baseball player, Sidney Poitier, actor and activist, Dan Reeves, football player and coach, Bill Russell, basketball player, Bob Saget, comedian and actor, Bernard Shaw, news anchor, Tony Sirico, actor, Ronnie Spector, singer, Ivana Trump, the Donald's first wife, Barbara Walters, journalist, Fred Ward, actor, and Don Young, congressman. On January 1st, 1735, Paul Revere, silversmith and patriot, was born, starting a long line of famous Americans born on the first of the year. Which one of these New Year's babies do you rate as the greatest? Feel free to nominate your own choice. Paul Revere, Revolutionary, 1735. Anthony Wayne, General, 1745. Betsy Ross, Flag Designer, 1752. Frank Knox, World War II Secretary of the Navy, 1874. William J. Donovan, General and Master Spy, 1883. Edgar Hoover, Director of the FBI, 1895. Hank Greenberg, 1911, Baseball Player. J.D. Salinger, Army Veteran and Author, 1919. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Zar of History and Headlines, and today I want to wish all of my family, friends, colleagues, students, and subscribers who are celebrating a birthday in 2024, the happiest of birthdays. Happy birthday to As a question for my students and subscribers, what are you most looking forward to in 2024? Please let me know in the comments section for this video. On January 2nd, 2022, the Omicron variant of the COVID virus was on the rise, but that was minor news compared to the top stories of 2022, some of which include number one, Russia invaded Ukraine, number two, Inflation ran rampant and gasoline reached an average of $5 per gallon. Number three, Queen Elizabeth II died and Charles III took the throne. Number four, the Cleveland Browns dumped Baker Mayfield and signed Deshaun Watson to a record contract. Number five, Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion. Number six, the ongoing investigations of Donald Trump resulted in his company being found guilty of fraud and his tax returns being released. Number seven, the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Number eight, the world population passed 8 billion people. And number nine, Boris Johnson resigned as the U.K. Prime Minister. On January 3rd, 1944, America's leading fighter ace of that time, Marine Major Pappy Boyington, was shot down and taken captive by the Japanese. Today we take a look at some of the leading fighter pilot aces of World War II by their country. 
Johnny Johnson, Britain, 38 kills. Pierre Klosterman, France, 33 kills. Eric Hartman, Germany, 352 kills. Teresio Martinoli, Italy, 22, plus 14 shared kills. Tetsuzo Iwamoto, Japan, 80 kills. Stanislaw Skalski, Poland, 22 kills. Richard Bong, USA, 40 kills. Ivan Kozdub, USSR, 66 kills. And Lydia Litviak, USSR, 5 to 12 kills, top female ace of all time. Who do you believe is the best fighter pilot of all time? On January 4th, 2010, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai opened in the United Arab Emirates, taking top honors as the world's tallest building, an honor it still holds. Today we take a look at some of the tallest man-made structures on the earth. Burj Khalifa skyscraper, United Arab Emirates, 2,717 feet high. Petronius oil platform, United States, 2,100 feet high. Tokyo Skytree Broadcast Tower, Japan, 2,080 feet high. KVLY TV antenna mast, United States, 2,063 feet high. Canton Tower Observational Tower, China, 1,982 feet high. Abraj Al Bait skyscraper, Saudi Arabia, 1,972 feet high. And Bullwinkle Oil Platform, United States, 1,736 feet high. On January 5th, 1972, President Richard M. Nixon announced the Space Shuttle Program, an American space exploration system that would go on to make 135 trips to space over three decades, carrying astronauts from 16 different countries. Today we list a few of Nixon's accomplishments often overlooked by his Watergate complicity. He was president during the first moon landing in 1969. He decreased Cold War tension with the USSR, known as detente, in 1969. He worked to racially desegregate the U.S. from 1969 to 1974. He established the EPA and other environmental initiatives in 1970. He established OSHA in 1970. He ended large-scale U.S. participation in the Vietnam War in 1972. He initiated normal relations with China in 1972, and he endorsed the Equal Rights Amendment in 1972. On January 6, 1941, President Franklin Roosevelt, FDR, delivered perhaps his greatest speech, known as the Four Freedoms Speech. FDR is but one of many famous orators that have delivered great speeches, and today we list a few of those famous talks, asking you to tell us which of these or others you believe is the greatest speech of all time. Number one, Pericles, Funeral Oration, 431 B.C. Number two, Socrates, Apology, 399 B.C. Number three, Mark Antony, Eulogy of Julius Caesar, 44 B.C. Number four, Patrick Henry, Give me liberty or give me death, 1775. Number five, Abraham Lincoln, Gettysburg Address, 1863. Number six, Winston Churchill, Blood, Toil, Tears and Sweat, and We Shall Fight on the Beaches, 1940. Number seven, Franklin Roosevelt, Nothing to Fear but Fear Itself, 1933. As a question for my students and subscribers, which event from this past week in history would you most like to learn more about? please let me know in the comment section below this video. If you liked this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated. For image, audio, and other credits and attributions for components of the individual videos in this compilation, please see the descriptions of their respective videos, which are linked to in this video's description.